Question 4a. The solubility product of iron 3 hydroxide is given, which is this value, and the KSP expression also given, which is this one. Part 1. Calculate the solubility of iron 3 hydroxide in the water. It's better for you to uh, construct this equation. Uh, iron 3 hydroxide, after it's uh, uh, dissociate, so it will form uh, this iron 3 and 3 moles of uh, hydroxide. So means when x mole of the iron 3 hydroxide uh, uh, dissociate, it will form x mole of iron 3 ions and 3 x mole of hydroxide. Therefore, you need to substitute the x value means the amount of the uh, hydroxide that dissociate in the give in the in certain volume. So means you have to substitute the x value of the ion three and this three x into the KSP expression. Means this is the concentration of the ion three. And this is a concentration of hydroxide, which is x and 3x. So remember, here is 3x cubed. And after that, rearrange, you need to get the x value. So the x value is uh, 9.28 times 10 power of 11 mole per dm cube. And this one actually can represent the solubility of the this uh, iron 3 hydroxide because when x mole of iron 3 uh, dissociate so you will form x mole of iron 3 means the amount is the same in the given volume so therefore we can use the x as the solubility part 2 calculate the solubility of iron 3 hydroxide in 0 0.010 mole per dm cube barium hydroxide so first you need to know barium hydroxide is a strong base so it's kind of like a fully ionized means 0 0.01 mole per dm cube of this barium hydroxide it will form 0 0.02 mole per dm cube means the concentration of the hydroxide now you need to use the hydroxide from barium hydroxide only means you need to use 0 0.02 only because this one is a much larger value so you need to substitute the concentration of hydroxide 0 0.02 here and ksp already given what you need to do is to calculate the iron 3 concentration when there is a presence of barium hydroxide so by comparing the these two concentration, if the iron three hydroxide in water is solubility is much higher, is this one. But when the iron three hydroxide not in water but in the barium hydroxide solution, its solubility is decreased a lot. From this now decreased to this. Why? Because one effect we call common ion effects. So iron 3 hydroxide is less soluble in barium hydroxide because of common ion effect. So what is a common ion now? The common ion is the hydroxide. Hydroxide that used okay, in the this part two. So because the hydroxide from barium hydroxide is lower the solubility of iron 3 hydroxide part B Ka is given for this uh, HBO uh, sorry, HBRO so this one is uh, 2 times 10 power of negative 9 X is a solution of the HBRO so this one is a pure acid solution and inside it has 4 times 10 power negative 3 mole in 100 cm cube. So later we can calculate the actual concentration uh, in mole per dm cube. Means this mole 
over 0 0.1 dm cube right we get the concentration okay before that uh, this is the one that you need to do part one define conjugate acid base pair uh, this one is the one you learn in as okay so you have to recall back what you learn conjugate acid base pair means first you need to know which one is a proton donor which one is a proton acceptor okay in this case this uh, reaction the HBRO this one is the one that donates proton we call proton donor and the H2O is a proton acceptor which form this hydronium ion so this one is a proton donor we call acid and it must has its own base so this is a conjugate based and what is their different their different is one proton HBRO and uh, this uh, H, uh, this uh, BRO negative, their different is one proton. So means the two species that differ by one protons or one hydrogen ion, that's the conjugate acid base pair. Part two, identify two conjugate acid base pair in this equation then. I already told you the first one. This is one pair, HBRO and the BRO negative. And another one is this. H2O on left hand side is a proton acceptor, so this is a base. And the hydronium ion here is the one that donates proton, so it's an acid. So therefore, H3O positive means the hydronium ion. Now it's the acid. And the base is H2O. Okay, of course, the pair one I already told you, the acid is the HBRO and the base is the BRO negative. Part three, calculate the pH of solution X. Show all your workings. Um, before you calculate the pH, the first thing that you need to get is the concentration of the hydrogen ion because we know that uh, to get pH is negative log of this concentration of hydrogen ion in order to calculate the concentration of this hydrogen ion you need to use this this uh, equation so you need to use the Ka and the concentration of acid uh, this one is for the to calculate the concentration of uh, hydrogen ion in the pure acid aqueous solution aqueous solution means uh, it's just the acid and the water only so when acid with water solution no salt no extra salt added so therefore we can use this one to calculate the concentration of hydrogen ion but before uh, we use this one for, we need to get the concentration of the acid so I told you just now the concentration we can use the mole that given over 0 0.1 dm cube so we get this concentration so after we calculate this substitute this one into okay, the equation with the Ka okay, so you get this and you get this value 8.944 times 10 power negative 6 so this is a concentration of hydrogen ion negative log this you get 5.05 okay this is how you calculate the pH of the acid solution part 4 a solution containing 2 mole uh, 2 times 10 uh, power of a negative 3 uh, moles of sodium hydroxide is added to the solution X solution X just now is the acid uh, solution now we add 
the sodium hydroxide to that. So if you undergo uh, some uh, these uh, neutralization or some reactions between the acid and the sodium hydroxide. So the reaction is this one. When the sodium hydroxide added to the acid solution, it will form salt and water. Then we need to see which one is actually in excess. Okay, 2 times 10 power negative 3 mole of sodium hydroxide added. And inside the acid solution, it has this amount. 4 times 10 power negative 3. Means the acid is still in excess. So we can get the most of the salt form because this one will finish react, the sodium hydroxide. This one will finish react and it will form the same amount of salt. Means after the reaction, 0 0.002 moles of sodium hydroxide will form 0 0.002. 002 salt so therefore we can use the most of the sodium hydroxide for the most of salt after that we need to calculate the acids that remain so we use the most of the acid minus the most of the sodium hydroxide so we get 2 times 10 power negative 3 moles so this is the mole of acid now and we know that it's actually same as the moles of salt, same value. When the moles of the acid and the salt, they are the same in the same solution. So we know that the concentration of the salt and acid now they are equal. Same mole and in the same volume. So when we know that these two concentrations same means the salt and the acid concentration they are same is actually telling us pH equal to pKa. Why? Because um, if we use this, uh, I use these equations to, to explain is better. So this is a relation between pH and pKa. pH equal to pKa plus log uh, concentration of the salt over the acid concentration. When these two concentrations they are the same, means you eventually you get if let's say they are the same, you get one. Log one is zero, means you get pH equal to pKa. So what you need to do is you just need to negative log Ka. This is Ka. You get the pH, which is eight point seven zero. Okay, that's all. Thank you.